The following takes place between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Just it an is. interesting aside, but that I mean, I don't right. drink, and I think that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I want to start drinking 90 percent alcohol. Oh yeah, you'd enjoy that. So I, yeah, let's good. go to another myth. See, I'm learning so um, much about this stuff. This great. great. Yeah. Table scraps are good for dogs. Well, well obviously we know that one. Yeah. Well, what about certain things? Because I'll give you a perfect example of what I do, and this okay. is what we've been doing for years. I'll have spaghetti. Yep. I'll eat my whole bowl. Yep. And you know what? You, and you, you know when your kid. Like, well, yeah, when yeah. I was a kid, I would. That's what I would do right after with the bowl. So I just like, yeah, here you go, buddy. And he, and he licks it, and then he's. He, I, you know, if it's like certain meat or something like that, I won't do. But it, you know, if it's just the sauce, you know, it's like alphagetti sauce. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, Little, it's like tomato paste. Right. right? I don't have a problem with that. I, I, you know, when it comes certain, to human food, I think it's b- certain breeds that I have a problem with because, for instance, Romeo, you could probably feed him a whole steak and he'll still go and eat his dry food. Whereas, oh, he'll eat anything. Yeah. So, th- th- yeah. I'm not worried about feeding table scraps to to bigger dogs, except for the fact that they, you know, if you they're feed them too much, they're going to get fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really have a problem with the little, little, little dogs because if you give a little dog like a chihuahua a piece of chicken, uh, they, they look at you like, I mean, you expect me to eat this dry junk that you're feeding me? You know what I mean? Like, it, I find that they'll actually, they'll starve themselves, not literally, but, you know, yeah. they'll act like they're starving themselves. And, you know, any dog who doesn't eat for a day, most people freak out even though they can go a month without eating. Um, you know, most people will not allow their dog to go a day without eating. So what ends up happening is now they feed their chihuahua more human food and that's why half the chihuahuas that come into my practice are on human food only because they will not eat dog food anymore. And it's because no one has the sort of the gumption to say, well, tough, buddy, here's your dog food. Eat it or, you know, and they'll never starve. Dogs are animals. They they, they will convert themselves from the spoiled, rotten brats that they can be. <laughs> and I mean that in a loving way. Um, to, uh, no, you don't. To, yeah, I do. Uh, no, I, I, you know, listen. I appreciate it's difficult, but uh, you have to be strong when it comes to. Uh, I, I just call it tough love when it comes to my dogs. They eat dry food and they love it, and that's uh, that's it. And that's one of the other myths is that cats and dogs like tasty foods. Uh, they go a lot by smell, not by taste. So you can feed the dog same food for his entire life, and and uh, and there's no problem at all. So that's another myth. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. What's next on the list here? Household dogs do not need to be trained. Yeah, a lot of people believe that. I don't know what it is, but uh, I think they all need to be trained. Oh, here's a good one. This one you'll like, Aaron. Licking is healing. Um, I can tell you sometimes it is. <laughs> really? You know, I well, you know what? It's okay for a dog or a cat to lick their wound a little bit, but sometimes they lick it. They're overzealous in their licking, and they actually can cause more harm than good. So really? a little bit of licking is fine, and you know what? Like when dogs go home, I'll let them lick their incisions a little bit, but not too much because after a while, it becomes a little, uh, little crazy. So hmm. you know you what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a break. When we come back okay. from break, we're gonna uh, we're gonna speak to our good friend from uh, the company Contech. We're gonna speak to the CEO Mark Grambart, who's gonna call the show. We're just trying to get the lines open right now. A little bit of an issue. Um, yeah, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna speak to Mark. We're gonna go talk a little bit about the water dog and what we like about that. And we're gonna keep the music playing throughout the whole show because I like that. These are pretty cool myths, yeah. uh, and I, 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 I like the banter Ooh. back and forth. Back in a couple minutes on Animal House Radio. Back on Animal House Radio, brought to you by Hills Pet Nutrition, the makers of Science Diet, a prescription diet, pet food, and www.ismydogoverweight.ca. And also the Toronto Intercontinental Center. Mmm, what a great place to stay. On the phone right now, once again, we're going to talk about our product of the week, and we're getting back into our whole review section right now on the program. We've reviewed this product. It's the water dog product. It's, it's great because if you have a backyard, you plug this in, your dog gets to roam around, they want fresh water, it's got a motion sensor. And they got a lot of other great uh, products on, uh, at Content. So uh, we're going to talk to the CEO, Mark Grandbart. Mark, what's going on, buddy? Nothing much, Aaron. Just on the radio. It's great to be here. Isn't it great? Because you're all the way in B.C. We are in sunny Victoria. Sun- it, it, how's the weather been in B.C.? Because let me tell you, it sucks out east, okay? <laughs> well, uh, it is blue skies right now, and it's just wonderful. Well, I can't complain. My brother lives in Richmond, so uh, I was just out there about a month ago for his wedding. Oh, great. Yeah, Vancouver's beautiful. Really it is. is. Yeah. Now, it is. We're, it's, a, it's a great place to live. Great place to live. Great place to have animals, and that's the nice segue to your company, because we've we've had a lot of products sent our way from, from, from Tracy, who's just an amazing asset that you have over there. She's great. And we've gotten a whole bunch of stuff. And I got to tell you, I love the products that you guys have. And I especially love the Water Dog. And I love the story that was in the paper, when was it, about a month ago in the, mm-hmm. the, the cupboard? Tell, I was just explaining at the beginning of the show to our listeners. Uh, can you go into that story and exactly what they were chit-chatting about? And... Are you referring to the story in the, San Francisco? Yes, in, in, the, in the dog park. Exactly. So, um... 
essentially somebody there set up a water dogs in their dog park and uh the, the great thing about the water dog, it's really easy to install. It's an automatic drinking fountain for dogs, and dogs just take to it immediately, and they understand how to use it pretty much intuitively, either by watching another dog or you just they sort of walk in front of it, and they see water flow out, and it's fresh water on demand for them. And uh, we just got some great reviews. And uh, Is it nice Irish setter with, friendly? Pardon me? Is it Irish setter friendly? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're known to be one of the... <laughs> I was just joking. Aaron's looking at me kind of funny. Irish setters are known to be one of the sort of not more intelligent dogs. <laughs> and I apologize oh. to all our listeners who own Irish setters. Beautiful dogs, just maybe not. <laughs> with the oh, I'll let IQ you offend your listeners. <laughs> I'll just sort of stand back and watch. No, <laughs> Go the, ahead. Continue the, on. Sorry. The, the emails are flooding in. How dare you make fun of our, my Irish setter, whatever they're called. <laughs> so people in the park started sitting there and saying, you know, wow, this thing is great. Now... Was there a, was there a reason for it? Was there any like sort of uh, chemical outbreak? Were, were dogs getting sick? Because I can imagine a lot of, and, and this is what I think of sometimes too. When it, when I go to a park and I see like a running fountain or something like that, and dogs drinking out of it, I think, okay, well, what if one dog is sick and something else, and a dog touches one thing, and right. and, and that's what I love about the, this product is that you can you can put it in, in in a different position, right? Yeah, basically, you can you can raise it up and down, yep. and. Uh, you can imagine it's sort of a, a, a stream of water that comes down towards the dog. They they go right up, right next to it, and once they're within two feet, it starts running, and then they start licking the stream of water as it's flowing out. So some dogs don't even touch the actual nozzle of the of the water dog, and uh, the alternative is leaving a bowl out, which may collect germs or your neighborhood birds may use it as a bird bath. You got it. Mm. Um, and uh, you know it's fresh water on demand. And, uh, and you're not wasting, right? right? You're not leaving a water tap running all the time. And exactly. if they're not no drinking, you're just wasting. There. Exactly. That's a, that's the best part and for me. And on, on top of that, people can use this as well. <laughs> they can. They can. It depends, you know, yeah. if you want to just sort of lie down below. <laughs> Well, no. If you have a picture, Aaron in his backyard doing this. No, but if you have something, if you have a cup of uh, a thing of water, you're, no, bi- you're, you're out you're biking. In the backyard, and, yeah, okay. Ah, you know, yeah, yeah. some more water. You're, you're, you're right. I hadn't thought of that. I've yeah. just marketed your product for people now. <laughs> you've you've opened up a whole new avenue for it. We have a niche market right now for people who are too lazy to so get up. What and are you going to call it? The Water Joe or the uh, Yeah, <laughs> the average Water Joe. There I've, you go. I've trademarked this right now. I want three million. Uh, well, you know, I tell you what, we can we can supply you with product. You can even take it into that niche. You're the CEO. I want money. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little crazy. The average, that. <laughs> average water <laughs> Joe. I like this. You know what we need to do? No, seriously, Mark. Well, here's, I got it right now, okay? Oh, All right, I'm ready. Okay, we need to go to colleges, and we need to take this and put it in a keg, Okay. <laughs> So people can just walk by, and the motion comes yeah, out. I'm talking to my engineering department. <laughs> this is, no, well, no, I haven't been talking to anybody, but this is a brilliant. Okay, this is what we're going to do, and we're going to make a lot of money doing this. Because I'm telling you, if I was in college and I knew that there was a motion detector to have a drink out of a keg, <laughs> let me tell you. There you go. You know, like it's Friday like, afternoon's a contact. Afternoon, it'd be first thing in the morning. <laughs> you know, or even walk by and you need milk for cereal. You just put the, the, the plate underneath, and it comes out automatically. I'm thinking so many things. I'm thinking bigger things here. Yeah, We're still in the dog show, though. Dude. I know we're thinking we're in the dog <laughs> show. I'm thinking about turning Mark into a, the massive millionaire that he is into a multi-billionaire. <laughs> Mark, wow. I, try, I try to keep him on leash here, but <laughs> it's not working too well. So let's talk about some of the other products that your company provides. Sure. Uh, we have a couple of other uh, products for, uh, for dogs. One is uh, an Eat Better Bowl and a Drink Better Bowl. And what cool. they do is they essentially slow a dog's eating and drinking down. Great. And, uh, I'm not we have sure a lot of these products. Uh, I, I'm not, but I got to tell you, I, uh, there's not a day goes by where I don't hear about the dog or the cat owner that calls me that says, you know, my dog just drank a whole bunch of water and puked, and they're so worried the dog's vomited. In the meantime, if they knew that the dog just drank, you know, half a gallon of water, they might have, you know, thought differently. Exactly. So the the Drink Better Bowl, it uh, it won Dog Fancy's Editor's Choice Award uh, last year. And also as a finalist in Pet Fashion Week, so it sort of looks really cool. And what it is is a bowl with a float on the top with a small surface area. So instead of the dog seeing the whole bowl of water and putting their whole snout in, they just sort of lick from the top. And what that does is it forces them to slow down, which reduces gas and vomiting, and also creates less of a mess. So if you have a dog that makes a big mess when they drink water, this will reduce it dramatically. Excellent. 